So welcome to this interview. We are with Oksana Suhetska, Senior Lecturer, Pavlo Ticena Uman State Pedagogical University and also conductor of Youth Chamber Choir and Female Student Choir. Good afternoon, thank you. Okay, our first question is you come from a context that is that of Ukrainian chorality. From where it was born and tell us a little about the Ukrainian chora tradition and how it has evolved over the years. Thank you for the question. Uh, today it is already known in all, in all over the world that the Ukrainian culture, the age old culture of Ukrainian people and Ukrainian choral culture has passed along the early path. And today almost all of our choirs are in pause because of the war. Almost all of our tenors, baritons and basses are in the armed forces of Ukraine and a lot of our sopranos and altos with camouflage nets make dumplings for defenders or care for refugees or also in the armed forces of Ukraine. And more than 2,000 educational and art institutions were partially destroyed. More than 200 of educational and art institutions were completely destroyed, including galleries, theaters, museums, in universities and schools. But we are still believing our victory. And uh, despite the insidious actions of the enemy, we are believed that we are, will win in this war. There are differences in choral conducting there are differences in choral conducting te technique between the Ukrainian style and the other styles. Yes, thank you. I'm a graduate of uh, Odessa Choral School, named after Konstantin Birov. Uh, he is from 20, uh, 19th 20th century, and we have uh, maybe five choral schools in Ukraine also. And sure, there is a difference. And of course, we have a difference with uh, another world schools, but it's um, hard, hard to compare these schools. Of course, some difference, but from my humble experience, I can say that uh, work with a large team needs to be disciplined and uh, systematic movement towards in the goal. That's the key, to be constant, constant. because uh, despite uh, and because during a lot of uh, various difficulties, you have to stay motivated and it's hard to be motivated always. So you have to be consistent. Consistency is the key. Currently, you are the position of Vice President of Nation Association of Ukrainian Choir which is linked to the Chorus Inside Federation. Why do you think of the Chorus Inside Federation and the activity career out every year through its core? I want to say a big thank you for the Chorus Inside uh, International and uh, for the President of Chorus Inside because uh, they make a very Yeah, okay, okay, I agree. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> no, no, don't Make worry. We have time. We have time. You are on your comfort position, so don't worry about everything. You, you can have mistake all you want, okay? Mm -hmm. it, it, it's better, okay? So I restart, yes. okay? Yes, yes. Currently, we hold the position of Vice President of the Nation Association of Ukrainian Choirs, which is linked to the Chorus Inside Federation. What do you think about the Chorus Inside Federation and the activity it carries out every year through its core? I want to thank you for the Chorus Inside International and to the President of Chorus Inside International for making this world better during the choral activities, choral art, because music knows no boundaries and uh, during this uh, competition, these festivals, they are 
bringing a lot of choirs from each country together on one stage, and this is uh, this is very important for me during this hard time because we have a currently we have a coral crisis because of the pandemic. It was a global crisis, and now because of the war, we have a crisis again, and that's a very important thing to bring the choirs together on the stage, on the festivals, on the competition. You come back a few days ago from the Chorus Inside Spain International Festival where you played the role of president of the competition jury. What is your opinion on the festival that has just ended? Chorus Inside Spain 2022 was really an inspiring event. It was choirs from a lot of countries, despite this hard time again, I have to say. It was Hungary, Romania, it was Italy, Spain, Poland, and Ukraine, Ukrainian choir. So it is a big value, a high value to the development of the choral art on the international level. And I hope that the Ukrainian choirs will join, all of these choirs, a lot of Ukrainian choirs will join to this event, festival and competition and return on the stages. Okay, let's talk more uh, <clears throat> Okay, let's talk more about the Korean side federation. We know that the federation this year intervened in favor of Ukrainian choir both by sending aid and through hospitality in some Italian region like Sicily and Sardinia. What do you think about chorus solidarity and how can the Ukrainian Choir Association interact with the Chorus Inside membership network? Mm, thank you. The very first task for us now is to end the war, of course. And, um, we are believed that we will victory. We will have a victory, and uh, we have to bring our people home and our youth home, of course. And we will rebuild our cities as, as soon as possible, rise our economy, and regain it, restart. Because people now only worried about their physical security, and uh, obviously it is a global crisis, of course, of coral art, global crisis in uh, Ukraine but without boundaries. So we have to work hard and the first our task is return our youth home and start work with our culture. Because we have a very deep folk tradition, very deep folk tradition and we have to develop in this during the choral art of course. Okay, what's the message? And what wish would you like to send to the old choir and musician? who have remained in their country in this difficult moment. I would just uh, say to stay brave in this difficult moment because in some countries it is uh, difficulties because of pandemic, because of virus, in some countries it is because of the war, but we have to stay brave and still singing. Of course we have to sing, we have to bringing together and singing our songs, folk songs, of course. And I'm sure that we will meet in a lot of festivals and contests in our country and in Italy maybe and in other countries because uh, who singing, they are uh, happy. So we have to be happy and we have to sing. That's all.